he has first to realize that God, being in all, knows all. God is omnipresent. That means he is in all. Oh, friend, COVID-19, he is there in it. He is doing things to be done. And everything that will be done, people are dying, things being different. Is nothing but the operation of the divine law. Karma. Everything the law of karma does is to balance out our past karma. So the law of karma can use any person or any inanimate thing. Karma to a balance. So whosoever has died, in my understanding. There is no doubt that they, they may have been irresponsible, they may have not been following the law of the land, and I fully appreciate that. But at the end of it, the bottom line is that the law under any and all circumstances, and the law of karma is so immaculate that it gives justice. It is the final authority in giving justice. So Baba says, must realize, man has to first realize that being in all, knows all, that God alone acts and reacts through all, that God in the guise of countless experiences the innumerably well happiness. So Baba has said in one of the messages, that you have to wear me, just like how, how when you wear a cloth in the morning after bath and all that, you know, you have to wear keep that one thing in mind that it is not you or doing, it is Baba who is thinking, feeling, speaking and doing through this medium of the body. So that is why Baba says that in the garden, Inanimate entities, God experiences the innumerable of suffering and happiness. Thus, it is God who brought suffering in human experience to its heights, and God alone is illusory suffering and bring about. Now here one may wonder that why should God bring suffering? Whether it is illusory or not for us, it is real. So why should God bring In my understanding of reading Baba's literature is that God never, ever, ever punishes anybody, never, ever brings suffering to anybody. He is only loving, he is only forgiving and remembering his name, remembering him serves as a buffer, as a cushion for handling a This is my understanding, this is my take of Baba. Now when Baba says happens without the will of God. We have all read this. It is there in all the all the religious scriptures that not a leaf has the power to quiver my will. God says this. We need to understand, very important to understand and uh, what is God's will? What is the meaning of God's will? We are taught in religious sermons very angry God. This is God's wrath. Will be angry. He only helps. He only upholds. He only forgives. And he cushions our karma. He buffers our karma. Uh, his, his nature, Baba says, by nature he is merciful. He will never be punishing us. He will never bring God's will will always prevail. 
So we need to understand what is God's will. You might say, oh, what is this? You are saying, well, on one side you are saying that uh, God's will operates that thing that we should suffer. No. What is God's will? Baba says, my will is law. Now, what is that law that Baba talks about? of karma the law of effect he is so smart that he has he has downloaded and installed in our universe in creation a law law is called the law of karma by and large he does not offer or interfere in the operation of the law of karma he does not and it is given to us that when we pray, when we repent, when we take his name, when we love him, or the cushioning of his name, the power of his name comes to us and we are karma in a more impactful manner. So what I'm trying to say is that law when Baba says everything happens according to my will he means is that everything is happening according to the law of it's blowing the leaf is quivering it's a law of karma if I jump from the window of the fourth floor fifth floor I will break my neck I will break my back or I will die it is the law of gravity we must understand that we ourselves and no one else we face in our life because that is we are facing because of the operation of law of karma all that we can do is to you know is to pull to pull baba's uh, you know uh, buffer of his love forgiveness through prayers through the prayer of forgiven forgiveness which baba has given repentance prayer through remembering his name through making him our constant offering it all to Baba. Just say, Baba, this is my weakness, you take it. So why I said that it is God who has brought suffering at its height and it is God only who will remove this illusion of suffering and bring about illusion. Is that it is God who is doing this? How is he doing this? by non-interference or rather to the operation to the, to the law of karma. So this is my understanding according to Baba's whatever reading that I've done and Baba has made it very clear that my will is law. My wish love sustains the universe. That is one of Baba's messages. Now we have about 20 minutes more before we close for 